guys, welcome back. And if you guys enjoyed my summarize video, I know it was almost like nine minutes or something, but now we're getting into the fun part of the of the individual video. So, without further ado, let's start in the same order I did the summary video. Let me just find it here. Sorry if I f go out of frame slightly, guys. Just need to grab all the Funkos again. Uh, okay, you can go over that way. So, we're starting with one of the most important Funkos ever, guys. I know it looks a little bit shiny, but this is the protective cover that makes sure that the box, the Funko box, or the Funko inside the box doesn't get like, you know, like damaged or any dents or anything like that. So let's just, let's just take a moment to like look around the box. I'm going to give you guys the 360 now so you guys can get an idea of what to expect inside the, when you, when we, when we open it later on. So this is basically a vintage, a vintage comeback. I don't know if there is such a word or if there is such a term, but this is like one of the greatest and, okay, I haven't watched the movie yet. I'm, this is, this is. The reason I actually bought this Funko Pop because, guys, after watching the trailer and watching my favorite Batman, and yes, I'm going to say it, the greatest Batman ever. I'm talking better than Adam West, better than Val Kilmer, better than George Clooney, better than Robert Pattinson, and better than Batfleck as well. I'm talking about Michael Keaton, guys. They name any Batman actor to portray Batman better than Michael Keaton. Honestly. Can you name it? Can, can you name a better actor? Mm. Your silence is much appreciated. So getting back to the Funko Pop itself, uh, after my fanboy moment, of course. Now this is basically from from what I can relate to in the trailer or what I can analyze in the trailer, the little bit of Michael Keaton that we see is basically when Barry does some alternate timeline thing or he opens up an alternate timeline to the past or to the future he he, he ends up in what looks like an abandoned <coughs> excuse me he ends up in what looks like an abandoned Wayne Manor with a with an aged Batman but he still looks like he's in his prime guys I mean go watch the Flash movie trailer with Michael Keaton Reprising his role after almost, jeez Louise, I think it's after almost 30 years, a little more than 30 years, guys, he still comes back and he plays Batman with the same, uh, I almost said Venus now, f finesse and the same Genesis Quad that he did 30 plus years ago, guys. And if you want a reason to go buy a Funko Pop, if you're an advert Funko collector, please, guys, this is... This is literally reason number one alone just to go buy the Funko Pop. And if you go look on the back, I will see if I can show you guys quickly. There's lots of reasons, guys. I mean, there's a Ben Affleck Batman, but we're talking about Michael Keaton now. There's a masked up Michael Keaton uh, for the Flash film. Then there's a couple of Barry Allens. There's three Barry Allens, if you guys look from there all the way through to that guy. There's a lot of Barry Allens. There's a Wonder Woman as well for all you Wonder Woman enthusiasts out there. And of course, the normal... Uh, sorry. <laughs> and of course, the normal Barry Allen. And of course, the dreaded Superman villain, General Zod. So guys, overall, I'm not disappointed that I bought this Funko Pop. It's, very, it's a very, very good addition to my uh, Batman collection in my Funko the Batman part of my Funko Pop collection, because aside from this Michael Keaton, I also have the the original Michael Keaton from 1989. I have that Funko Pop. I've got the Jack Nicholson Joker from the Tim Burton part of the series. I've also got the uh, the Riddler, uh, Two Face, the the Jim Carrey Riddler. The I almost said Harvey Keitel. Now I was going for Tommy Lee Jones Two Face. I've got the Val Kilmer Batman. The only thing I still need to complete that collection is Danny DeVito's Penguin and Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. 
And other villains that I have, like I said, I've got the George Clooney Batman as well. And from that movie, I've got his villains as well. Uh, Uma Thurman's Poison Ivy. And of course, the former Mr. Universe, Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. So, yeah. And then I just need like the, the chase of Jack Nicholson's Joker. And then I've got the entire Tim Burton, Joel Schumacher universe in Funko, in the Funko collection or the Funko version of it. So, thank you for listening to the Michael Keaton Returns Batman in the Flash movie Funko Pop video. Hurry out!